Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Topics with me where today we're actually going to be doing something that I've always wanted to do for a while and you know I'll just I'll explain after the um, intro starts and um, fun fact the intro um, the old intro the first intro is back but with a different picture so I hope you enjoy I don't think I'll be changing it for a long time and roll the new roll the new old intro my name is Derek Amal, and I am proud to be. I'm in another town with my family. And so I found a place where everyone will be. Let's talk discreetly. This is Topics with me. So guys, I really hope you enjoyed the old new intro because it wasn't the easiest to bring back, especially because of the picture. But anyway, guys, we're going to start off with the series and... Um, well, not we're gonna start. We're not gonna start off with the series. We're gonna start with the episode, but it might be a potential series in the future. So what I'm planning to do is um, start a series, and it's about either tech or it could be about story time. I want you guys to actually uh, comment or comment in the description below specifically what you want to see in this channel. And um, there's there'll be a poll up to the left of me if I'm right. Um, that'll kind of state what I um, what what you guys can choose for me to actually do in the future. So yeah, the poll's gonna be up there, but today we're gonna be talking about... So there's a thing out there, it's called the Galaxy Fold, and people can go out and buy it. It's not the first phone that can fold because that's the FlexPi with the screen. It's it's kind of like a comeback to f foldable phones, and I don't see right now, I, I only see it for two issues, uh, two ways to fix the issue of what is going on right now. We could either have a phone and a tablet mixed, uh, have one display just for the phone and have a larger display for the tablet and then we could just solve that issue altogether. Or we could have it come back as a flip flippable phone that um, kind of has like ridged areas so that it doesn't smack the screen so we can just go uh, it's, It would be a mold, uh, more modern version of it, um, kind of shown on the Motorola devices um the new device that they're roaming to leak and stuff like that so i'll actually give you a few things that the galaxy fold is known for so it's known for its high high price range at one thousand nine hundred dollars it should come out on the 26th and there have been issues with uh it not having the hardware well a few things mixed in the hardware to have it work and they're not delaying that because of that reason and I'll talk about that just a little bit later. But yeah, there's been issues about it. Um, like since it's one of the first phones and it's the first generation, it does have a notch. And Samsung actually in a present, actually multiple presentations, they've um, talked about Apple having a notch on their device. And at this point, they actually have two large bezels, which are the things from the top of the phone to the bottom of the phone that are kind of the barrier. So if I pull out one phone you see the white parts those are the that's that's the bezel and it's extremely huge but the screen that means they can make it as big as they wanted to but they probably want to keep it at a certain range and stuff like that I, I don't think that they want to change extremely a lot about the screen so it turns out that their flagship right now is the s10 and it's actually a pretty good phone I've heard good reviews about it glass phone nice nice very nice and firm doesn't really break um, and it barely has a bezel. It only has um, just a little small camera hole. But honestly, I don't mind if they ever have that camera hole. I just think that the aspect ratio should just be a little bigger for people that want to watch content. Or they should have like a notch thing where they can put like, not a, not, not a notch filler, um, kind of like a bezel, a digital bezel. So then they can fill whatever they want. Um, so pretty much I was actually talking about the other day how a phone nowadays can run Windows. Yes. The only problem would probably be the keyboard and the mouse and the support for which the process can do. And then the screen size and some of the processing power because it's still an ARM operating system instead of an Intel um, tried and true Windows platform re revitalizer and everything like that. But anyway, that has been my technical rant about what I expect to see into the future, what I expect uh, things like this to happen um, for other companies, what I expect to have fixed in a few years. I'm not like, you know, saying that I, I'm entitled to these things. I'm just saying 
if they want to polish the product they're gonna have to make a few changes but anyway if you want me to go deeper into that on another episode i can but anyway guys if you guys don't like tech videos i can make less of them i can only make them every once in a while but i'm still gonna make them because it's it's my channel i'm serious uh so if you guys enjoyed this episode please like subscribe share comment and please please comment suggestions in my social media and my comment section just so you can see what you want to see on this channel that you don't really see on other channels because i've actually made some unique content on this channel that you'll never find anywhere else anyway guys i'll see you guys next time but bye okay so until then i'll be folding out